Well, hey everyone, and welcome back. So the topic of today's video is domes and basins, and though these may not sound like they're related to what we've been doing previously for the past three videos, I believe, um, they actually are quite related to folds. Um, so I've just sketched up an image here. This is a bit different from what I usually draw in that it's a full three-dimensional block diagram as opposed to our two-dimensional cross-sectional diagram, and I did that for a very specific reason. If you look at this uh, face of the block down here, you can see that we've got what appears to be an antiform, right? We've got these strata with a crest uh, forming up here, though we can't quite see it, and the limbs dipping downwards in this direction. All right. So we can uh, label that feature right there as an antiform. Um, however, if we did not see this full picture, maybe we would simply label it as a plunging anticline or something like that, um, which in this case would be incorrect because the feature that we see on top is very different from a plunge. Um, I'll get into plunging in a later video. But if you do understand that, then it's, it's a good, uh, good base to start this dis discussion on. Um, so then we look at what we have over here on this face, and it looks pretty much identical. Meanwhile, with a plunging anticline, you would see these just sort of level off, um, right? There would be no, since the pressure was mostly being applied in, these dire in this direction, um, we wouldn't see this side folded as well. However, under these circumstances, it appears that um, the strata along this face has been folded as well, and in the exact same fashion, uh, being an antiform. So when we have something like that, when these are being pushed upwards, right, we're going to get pushing on this face from all sides, right? If this is a 360 degree diagram, then we have antiforms on every face, meaning there is strata being pushed up, up to the surface, and that's going to give us a very interesting feature known as a dome. This is a dome, right? Because if it's being pushed from all directions, you're going to see, well, a dome form. Uh, where you're going to have a tall point in the middle and that kind of uh, levels off along the edges. And we get this sort of circular pattern. Uh, it may not be that pretty at first, but we get some erosion that reveals some layers down here. And uh, yeah, we get a very dome-shaped, you know, if we were just looking at this from the surface, then it would look something like that. You know, maybe a person could stand up there and that's... That's our little dome, and then we've got some strata visible around the edges. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what a dome is. Uh, antiforms on both sides. We don't know if these are anticlines, but we can tell that they are antiforms. And um, they push in all directions, such that the middle is pushed upwards, and then we get this sort of circular pattern following around it. And erosion uh, makes other layers visible. So if that's a dome, you'll notice I also have the term basin up there, and well, a basin is simply, you can think of it as something that looks more like this, right? If this is ground level, right? Maybe you can have people over here. Then, you know, a basin is downwards in the ground. Um, or it, it's a, uh, a depression in, in um, what would otherwise be flat ground. So a basin you can think of very similarly to a dome. In fact, I'm not going to draw up an entirely new picture. Uh, I was smart and I realized, hey, I can just draw one picture for this video and then edit it slightly so I don't waste too much time on unnecessary things. But a basin is simply, if I can erase this nicely and neatly, A basin is simply what you get if all limbs on the folds down here are dipping towards the, uh, the upper plate we have here that represents the ground. So of course, um, that would mean we have sin forms down here. So you're going to have something like that. And then on this side, we've got another one. Something like that. that. Right? 
right? So you're going to have this, these uh, sinformal U-shaped patterns down on these faces, which all, you know, these are being pushed downwards. So we're going to have the basin basically sink in the middle. Um, so fortunately for me, I don't have to edit the top at all. But just imagine that this is sinking as opposed to rising up with each, um, with each new strata that you see here. Um, and yeah, that's basically a basin, just the opposite of a dome. If you've got a flat surface, like if you've got a flat uh, block diagram like this, then it's going to look identical aside from these pieces. And these are what's going to let you, are what are going to let you know that it's a basin instead of a dome. If you see sinforms down here, it's a basin. If you see antiforms, it's a dome. If they, these are dipping up towards the surface and the crest or the trough is pointing down away from it, then it's a basin. If they're pointing downwards and the crest is pointing upwards, then it's a dome. Now there's just one more final thing to talk about, and that is um, the age of the strata, right? So with this basin right here, we'll start with basins this time. The way I like to think about it is if you were to have completely new strata deposited, or maybe let's just say you've got some sediments tumbling down into this thing, where would they end up? And that's where you're going to see the youngest, uh, the youngest strata. So with a basin, if we want to imagine it again like this, maybe I'll just draw a different picture. With a basin, if we put sediment, once again, just going with that metaphor, obviously we're talking about strata, but if we just put sediment, say, in here at any point and just sort of let it, let it fall, let's say we just let it fall, then it's going to go towards the center. And for that reason, the basin, you're going to see the youngest strata in its center. And if you've caught on to how uh, these geologic concepts generally work, that means that the dome is going to be quite opposite the basin. Um, but if we want to go by this picture again, you can just imagine, obviously that's a very exaggerated dome-like shape, but if you were just to put some sediment up here, well, it would, it's going to slide down because of gravity, and it's going to end up accumulating along, along the edges that you see down here. So domes are going to be oldest in the center. So yeah, that's about it. Domes and basins, 360 uh, three-dimensional figures you get formed by sinforms or antiforms on all sides. Um, quite rare circumstances, but they do occur. Um, basins are going to have your youngest strata in the center, and domes are going to have your oldest strata in the center. So hopefully that was informative, otherwise good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao.